Hey, we've done a couple of videos before using mega menus using a bit of code from Maxim of element.how super super guy but can you use the same code for containers you can but I just want to point out a few things it's super super easy to do basically mega menu is when you hover over like a menu item and like this drop down appears not a drop down with loads and loads of items uh, as you can see on the screen right now by the way right let me just show you how you build that so we're in elemental and we're just going to create a container by the way your container can have whatever you want logos you know social sharing icons but the key bit is how do you activate the mega menu to do that you need to use buttons so into this container which I'm just going to make it be a full width for now I'm not really fussed about the height I'm just going to drop in a couple of buttons like that so we have button number one my advanced tab and I'm going to go down to a CSS class and I'm going to call it nav underscore item you've got to do this okay because it's part of the code if you want to put your own naming convention in fine but then make sure you change the CSS code remember we're not doing this with any extra plugin so pure elemental mega menu super easy to do so that is called nav item and what I'm going to do though is just duplicate that button uh, we'll just do it about three times for now um, you to be honest you don't have to use a button you could put in a bit of text so you just hover over the text and you get it but I'm just showing it to you with a button because it's the easiest way to explain it and by the way you can make this be a transparent background as well you know so please bear that in mind so at the minute you've got an orange background you could have a transparent background so play around with what works with you now if we go to the container we're going to set this to be a row like that and I'm going to move these all to be over in the end you know I mean look you can play around with how you want it to look remember if you've got a logo in there other items in there you can be quite strategic with your layout now when it comes to adding in what will be the items for your mega menu in the past with the section approach you would have um, built your like uh, inner sections in a way inside of here what you got to do now is actually pop in another container so I'm going to go in and pop a container in after button one after every button you have to add a container now this is where you do have to be a little bit careful because you can fall over yourself here because right now even if I go to this container where we're going to build our mega menu even when I set that to be full width it's not full width it's not it's not doing what we want it to do and you might feel fooled into thinking well this has gone completely wrong don't worry about that go over to your container your main container okay the parent container and ensure that you have set everything up to be wrap like that ensure it is set to wrap then go over to this container and ensure that the width of this is uh sorry the the uh, the, the advanced custom not the custom make sure the layout of it is full width okay so that now it's going all the way across in fact I should remind you just make sure you zero zero everything out otherwise it doesn't go all the way across so for the child container we've done that so just to recap I dropped in another container after the button but on the parent container I ensured it was wrapped now when you're looking at this you're going to go well that looks really odd because now my this button is down here and I don't want that don't worry when the CSS code is dropped in you won't get that problem now this container over here you can do what you want I mean you could if you want like you know add an oh, oh what's it gone and done that for <laughs> sorry into this container drop in another container like that so now you've got a container within a container you could then uh, duplicate that so you have two contain by the way always double check what you're building here so there's the button there's the container that's inside the child the child container and inside of that you now have two further containers I'm going to go to the child container and I'm going to set this up to be a row like that you can have as many containers as you want by the way okay you know don't you know like look I could do duplicate now and you got three in there if you want I'm just showing you this really really quickly I'm just going to pop in a header I'm going to pop in some text as well like that uh, let's just pop in a image over here let's just go for uh, I don't know let's just go for one of these images like that I mean this isn't looking amazingly fantastical but what I want to get across is that anything you could do with a container you could do here now then I am going to duplicate this container right so we're going to duplicate it and we're going to duplicate it again and the idea is we're going to dump them below each button okay so this one here in fact I'm just going to pick the button up and I'm going to move it over container two and then button three I'm going to move over container three okay so that should all make sense so when you look at it now you've got button 
container, button, container, button, container. So I've gone and modified the containers now. So there's different items in each of them. The key bit is though, and I should have done this before I duplicated. This is really stupid of me. I should have done this at the start. Just make sure you've minimized all of those child containers, okay? So you should have three of them. In every single container, you must go to the advanced tab and make sure you call them a menu content like that. So make sure you've called them that as the class name and make sure you do that to all three because the code is basically going to hide them until you hover over the navigation menu. And, I, and this might sound really complicated, but it's not complicated at all. So menu content, okay? Now go back to your parent um, container, go to advanced, and what you're going to do in the custom CSS, you're now going to paste in this code. And as soon as you paste it, everything just disappears like that. By the way, you can you can modify your style of your parent container how you want, you know, uh, with the positioning of your items. You'll notice there's a bit of a gap here. And by the way, I've just given away what it does. The gap is there to allow a bit of an overlap. But if you want to just modify how your containers look, you know, uh, please go away and adjust it. You know, uh, let me just kind of do something like, uh, I don't know, there we go. Just make it look a little bit smarter like that. Right. If I now just view this on a full screen and I go here, can you see what it's doing? Now, you might have this match the same color as your background here. OK, I've done it in a different color just so you can see how there's it's there's a little bit of overlap because if you don't have an overlap with the button, when you hover past the button, this would happen. Right. You just hit nothing. So now you can see it. So what you would do is here's my tip. You can make um, you basically only you don't have to overlap by a lot. I've overlapped by more than I need to be. But as long as it's touching. It's literally touching it. So when you move off it, you now have your items. You can now interact with this. Look, you could go in and type in your email and hit a send form. Go over to your social sharing icons. You know, I mean, why did I click the map for? <laughs> I shouldn't have done that, should I? Look, now, now I've gone off my page. There we go. Right. But if you wanted to start, you know, if you had a larger map or anything like that, you could do. Um, if I go over here, look, we've got a video playing. So you could be showcasing products or other items or anything like that. But it is like a, a way of how you can now show off a more detailed men mega menu system than what you had before. Now, the obvious question for some people will be, well, how does this look on the mobile? Not very good, if I'm honest. And I don't recommend doing this on a mobile. And what I would say you do is that you change it so that you, for instance, you might have something like, um, I would basically hide these items on the mobile and instead you'd have a navigation menu so you know you'd basically go over here and you would have uh you know when you go down here to responsive you would say hide on the mobile maybe even the tablet and instead you would drag in a different nav menu now your nav menu is not going to be as detailed as what you see here okay it there's no way is it going to be as detailed as anything that you see here at all however you kind of can get away with that because on a, on a mobile menu, you could use accordions as well, or um, you might only want to show certain things. It's only on the desktop where you want to go the extra mile, and now you want to show off loads more stuff. So have a think about what you want to show. But I would recommend you keep it simple, keep it succinct. But this code, it's over in the description. Some people have said, oh, you got to pay for it. No, you don't. Go to the link, scroll down, and the code is there for you, all right? Maxime, who's created the code from element.how, does not charge for it unless you want a pre-built template. That's a different matter. But hey, go away and play with it. Have fun, okay? I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.